That the alleged gunman is 26 year old Esteban Santiago. He'll be in the federal court here later this morning where he'll be formally charged with killing five people at the airport. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. The airport security video obtained by TMZ shows a calm baggage claim area, and then the suspected gunman enters the picture. He reaches into his waistband, pulls out a pistol, and begins shooting. As the gunman runs out of view, you can see terrified passengers duck and take cover. One of those bullets hit this laptop, stopping the bullet that could have killed Steve Frappier. It absolutely saved my life. According to a federal affidavit, Esteban Santiago gave a confession that the pistol was in checked baggage. When he claimed his bag, he loaded the pistol in a men's restroom and then began shooting in a methodical manner. Santiago emptied his first magazine, then reloaded and shot until the second magazine, too, was out of bullets, approximately 10 to 15 rounds. Six years ago, Santiago was deployed to Iraq with the Army National Guard. His brother says he came back a different person. This past November, Santiago walked into an FBI office in Alaska, claiming the CIA was controlling his mind, making him watch ISIS videos. He was put under observation for mental illness. His pistol confiscated. Four days later, he was released. His gun returned. Authorities now say it may be the same pistol used in the shooting spree. Five people killed, six wounded, more than 50 injured. A horror at the airport in Fort Lauderdale. The screaming that just sits more in my mind it's, is kind of that, that kind of blood curling scream as people were trapped. They had nowhere to go. To this morning, two of the six people who were wounded have been released from the hospital. Meantime, at the airport, it's estimated upwards of 23,000 pieces of luggage were abandoned in the chaos. Many of those bags holding people's cell phones and IDs. A private company is now working to get those items back to the owners. Many of the people had just arrived at the airport and left with just the clothes on their back. Meredith. Lucky to be alive, though. Carrie Sanders, thank you so much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.